to another edition of T4 Cut. Today we'll be recapping Day 8's action and taking a look at Day 9's. With all the up and down of the World Cup, I can't believe we're only at Day 9. There's still like 21 more days to go. So it's going to be an interesting last 21 days. Australia tied Denmark. Denmark, led by Christian Eriksen, could have secured their playoff spot if they beat Australia. But they didn't beat Australia, so Australia will be hoping France has clinched their spot. France will be hoping, I mean Australia, will be hoping France can beat Denmark like 5-0 and then Australia just gets needs a win against an inferior Peru. France did 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 did. They did. They did. They did beat Peru 1-0 thanks to a goal by Kylan Mbappe. Or the youngest player to score Youngest French player to ever score in a World Cup. And then the and then the match of the day. Croatia versus Argentina was an absolute disaster for Argentina. An absolute mm, not miracle. Stunning result for Cro Croatia. Croatia is quite mad at that. Well, no. Argentina is mad at themselves. They've tied Iceland. Who all they do is sit back. Like, you can't, you can't spend 90 minutes trying to score a goal and you can't score a goal. You score one goal. And that's in the 19th minute. You can't do anything else for the rest of the 71 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Iceland, they only had like five attacks. but Croatia looked the better team. By far, Me Messi didn't be, weren't wasn't found for the entire half, for the entire second half. Like he took two touches. That's pretty much it. And then they just got outclassed. The first goal. What is the keeper doing? What is the keeper doing? It's a disaster. Kick. The stinking ball away. He tried to be cheeky, but you're a goalkeeper. Goalkeepers aren't known for being cheeky. They're known for saving goals and clearing the ball away. Maybe like the easy pass here and there. But not known for chipping players with their with like that are five yards away from them. I could have played a better role than that, but just clear the ball away, okay? Just, just clear it, the, just kick it that way. Just kick it. No. You could, you maybe could have scored a goal, but you decided to be cheeky, and you got scored on. Wonderful hit, but. You're an Argentinian supporter, which I am. Like, this is absolutely disastrous. Second goal, touch of brilliance. Third goal, just lack of effort. It was 2v2. One of the thing was a goalkeeper who can't stink and clear the ball away. Just a pass into the back. Three players were just standing on the edge of the penalty box like, oh yeah, he's going to miss the pass, and it's going to come to me, and I'm going to clear it away. Hmm, or maybe I should cheeky chip someone. That could work too. No. They passed it right there. Those are world-class players, 2v2 against a person I honestly 
don't even know. Unless it's Altamendi, I do know him. But I'm not, I don't know them. They play for River Plate, Boca Juniors, Argentine, Argentinian teams in the Argentine, Argentina League. Do you, do you, do you expect world class player? Okay, let's say Messi and Ronaldo went against, let's say, Me and you. Who would? Who do you think would win? Yeah, Messi and Ronaldo. That. Yeah, that. You're. Yeah. That's what the Argentinian thought. Argentinian players thought they would mess up and they could just clear the ball away or cheeky chip someone. That's just. You're going against Kovacic and Rockus Rockitich. They both end with itches. You, you should try to make it a 2v3, maybe steal the ball? Ooh, yeah. <clears throat> Enough with that. Let's go into day nine. Brazil will be taking on a must win against Costa Rica. Costa Rica with Kaylor Navas. Brazil should win, but we said that with the Switzerland game. I'm a bit angry now, right now at Argentina, but still, Brazil should win. They should win. But we said that the last game, and guess what they did? They drew, they stalled out on deals. Neymar probably would be starting. He needs to not be cheeky and try to get fouls on him. The ref, obviously, in the last game, it didn't co didn't produce yellow cards, yellow or red cards. You can't expect to win the game by getting yellow cards. You can't win the game with yellow cards. You win with goals, passing, movement, shots. That's how you win. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, that. Is how you win. <sighs> Serbia could claim their spot in the knockout round if they beat Switzerland. Switzerland did tie Brazil and they're sixth in the country. But yeah. Serbia should win. They have that much talent. They should win. Savage and they have Matt Hitch. They should be able to win. Quite comfortably. They don't have a goalkeeper to go against like Kaylor Navas. So if Kaylor Navas wasn't in goal, it could have been 5 0 against Costa Rica. So Serbia should win. Although I'm accepting a close game. Group D action, Nigeria taking on Iceland. If you're an Argentinian supporter, you would want Nigeria to win. You're okay with the draw, but Iceland could, could, could be the end of you. I'm not saying it's official after this match, but you just, you got to win by a lot against Nigeria, and also gonna lose a viable lot against Croatia. I'm expecting Nigeria to win, but if Argentina can't beat Iceland, well then everyone can, considering how Argentina are playing. Right now they lack creativity. Nigeria with a young gun squad. Iceland's just gonna sit back. Iceland's just gonna sit back. Nigeria's just gonna attack. Thank you for watching another edition of Tease World Cup. I'm your host Thomas. Please leave a like down below and subscribe down below if you want to keep watching these videos. Until next time, keep watching the World Cup.